Heavenly Father, I am grateful for your eternal presence. I am learning. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Bulwa Ward Virtual Devotional. And presiding over this meeting is our Bishop, Bishop Bonbari Carvajosa, and I, Tariq Cruz Minyazo Jr., First Counselor of the Bishopric, this uh, conduct over this meeting. And to open this, we'll sing hymn number 58, um, Come Ye Children of the Lord. And we invited Brother Clark Rodrigo to give us the invocation. Father in heaven, salamat me sa blessings of guidance. Salamat put me sa good health. O salamat put me sa trials na nasa mga karun. O i-guide mo kami na malampasan ang mga trials na nasa mga karun. O i-best mo kami na namin sa may lawas na hindi kami matagtan sa COVID. O last day na ang Holy Ghost na mag-guide sa mga karoon na masabta ng mga messages sa speakers na ma-apply na mo sa mga kagalingan and we leave these things in the name of Jesus Christ's name, Amen Salamat kayo, Brother Clark Simon Prayer and now we'll hear from our two speakers first to speak is Jaris Maliari our CTR teacher and we also invited Brother Julius Hangau to give us a talk. Brothers and sisters, you experience like um, nakikilangan buhaton but you don't feel doing it. Um, you feel tired going to work or you don't like to read the scripture or you think that you have no time ministering or you feel lazy doing household chores um, I must say na if you feel this way sometimes um, for me it's normal but what is not normal is kung permit na lang yung nga na ang atong 
na feel. And the problem could be our attitude. Attitude um, affects how well or how fast we can do our task. When we have positive attitude, we tend to enjoy more our work. Um, we accept more responsibilities. We simply love being busy. Positive attitude can help us try to live the gospel of Jesus Christ. President Spencer W. Kimball said, I remind you that regardless of your age, you are building your life. It can be full of joy and happiness, or it can be full of misery. It all depends upon you and your attitude. For your attitude I mean, your altitude or the height of your climb is dependent upon your attitude or your response to situation. So, ang saan ito pag-develop og positive attitude? Um, brothers and sisters, you feel na sometimes yeah, yan yung namang good ko, yan yung namang yung batasan, so, listen to me, baguhon, but remember that we are, that the gospel taught us to develop Christ-like attitude. And so, we must try to improve ourselves. So how? I have here a short list on how to improve our attitude. So first, count your blessings. And not thinking about what we do not have. So the, Christ, the secret to happiness is recognizing our blessings that how our lives improved from the past. Um, be grateful. Um, mapasalamaton sa tanang butang. Yatag sa ito sa ginoo. Mapagamayman or madako. Um, it is by recognizing our blessings na we will realize that we have so much we have so much to give, to share to others, and we will stop comparing ang atong kinabuhi sa uban, and just be happy and thankful for the things that you have. So second is, be kind and understanding to others. So let us stop being judgmental. Uh, instead, we will focus, we will find the good qualities of other people. Um, let us not be selective kung kinsa itong smilean, kung kinsa itong treat with respect, and kinsa itong treat as friends. No? And who knows that through, a good, through our good example, we can have a positive influence. Uh, we can have a positive change sa uban tao. And they also will be a uh, positive influence in return to other people. Third is trust in the Lord. Trusting the Lord means having faith that the Lord will not ask us to do something impossible. It is maintaining good attitude while we seek a way to do what the Lord asked us to do. The best example for this is Nephi, especially when he was asked to obtain the brass plates from Laban. And the exact opposite of this attitude is that of Laman and Lemuel. So, sila to mga brothers nga mga reclamador. Nephi, with his positive attitude, he succeeded in obtaining the brass plates. So let us all follow the good example of Nephi when we face um, kalisod sa, sa kinabuhi. I must say na isa sa mga qualities na ko, nga proud ko, is kung na ay ipabuhat sa ko ah, paningkamutan gina na ako, mamabuhat na ako. 
and not just doing it for the sake of doing it but I always try to exceed the expectation sa tao nga nagatagsakwa ng task and if in the end mafeel na ako nga mulgalisod ko and basta sure lang ko nga I did my best I would be totally honest to the person nga nagatag sa ako ng task and I would be willing to learn more or to learn how nga para ma achieve na ko ang unsa may expect from me and lastly prayer and studying the scripture help us keep a positive attitude from the scripture um, we can learn the experiences the good example of our prophets of old um, the life of Jesus Christ on how to handle difficulties and trials in life with positive attitude I know brothers and sisters that we will be happier when we maintain a positive attitude so sa akong life I'm grateful that I know the gospel of Jesus Christ I was converted because of that um, I know the purpose of life the purpose of trials so if not so I may be a person that who easily discouraged personally I admire and appreciate more person with a positive attitude than a person with an intelligent mind um, I know that they tend to be more successful and I don't mean success in terms of wealth money or fame but success in terms of um, contentment happiness respect and a wide range positive influence to others uh, this kind of people who unconsciously um, through their good example um, through their faith the countenance of Jesus Christ reflected on them and then one day nalay sa katawang mudol sa thanking them for their inspiration and through them they're able to achieve much I, a lot of members in the church whom I met um, since we were still investigating are really good examples to me um, I see I feel Christ through them and I know that developing Christ like attitude in me is still a work in progress but if we the members of the church continue to become like him and I know that um, other people especially the non-members will see Christ through us and eventually they want to be converted they will come to Christ because of the positive influence that we have on them and I know that these things are true and I leave this in just Christ's name Amen Brothers and sisters, um, good morning and congratulations because um, naka-survive ta for uh, how many months ng ECQ and totally lockdown yun even ang atong panginabuhi, uh, atong pagawas and atong communication sa atong uh, only communication lang pwede na itong mahimo no? and um, even atong family extended family uh, listen to the visit because of uh, this kind of virus yung nagkalat na, um, the, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic virus and when this COVID-19 nag-abot siya siguro mga second week of March um, there are a lot daghang kaayong mga tao ang nagpanic and that includes ato ah, mga members of church and that's because um, wala takabalon siya atong buhaton and wala takabalo o unsa ba din siya unsa unsa din siya nga uh, klase sa virus uh, daghan man kayo or dali ta kay si nikalat and mas ni increase ang atong fear and mas ni decrease ang atong faith so pero uh, happily we 
we know um, as as member of this church na um, naging safe ang mata ko sa and that's because of our obedience and as uh, we go through with the uh, lockdown last March um, nag come up sa kung mind ba uh, nag discuss me with my family um, is this pandemic or is this COVID-19 challenge is is this really a blessing for us or is this really um, or is this a burden para sa to ah? and as what we know um, halos tanan na apiktuhan uh, me, big challenge for me because um, di ko ka pa manigya um, wala mga trabaho and then tanan tanan apiktuhan uh, ani nga kain o uh, pandemic uh, this COVID-19 virus and as we go through with that um, nag come up sa amo family that we have to review unsa kay unsa kay mga nag question mo unsa kay mga pwede na tumuhaton um, as member of the church or as a family as a couple uh, pwede na tumuhaton so gi-review na mo ang, ang mga counsel ni prophet uh, Nelson and nakita na mo ang answers there are lots of answers nga uh, wala kayo na to nabantayan so when prophet Nelson um ko gitawag siya as our living prophet there are lots of changes. Daghan kayo ang mga changes, uh, dalang kayo mga nangadugang, um, which has been uh, preparatory for this pandemic time. And uh, one of that is, um, mag-mention na siguro po upat, uh, nga nakita na ako nga isa sa mga uh, instructions, new instructions nga iyahagihin mo. Uh, first, will be, uh, kung sa, uh, nabantayan ba na to sa manual? Ang, ang atong manual, ang atong um, come follow me nga manual um, as mabantayan na to sa iyahang content um, naa na siya specific days na dapat din na to siya uh, studyhan so starting December 30 um, gihimo na ni Prophet Nelson ang, ang, ang mga changes sa manual sa come follow me nga manual um na ay nakabutang dito na every day you have to read a certain chapter. So from Monday to Saturday or Sunday, na agit ay angay buhaton, na atay basahon dapat. And uh, sad to say, uh, we members, wala kayo na to na siya apply Wala kayo na to siya na nabantayan. Which is, <clears throat> um, this is a uh, kanang dako kayo nga tabang sa atong time karon Second is, um, Kung nabantayan na to, Sunday services, gishorten. So, gigamay ang R. And third one, third is ang ministering. So, ang ministering, gihimo siya nga mas simple, even uh, whatever kinds of communication, chat, text, email, call. So, pwede na siya. Um, because of this pandemic, the preparation for this pandemic. And bisan dili na mag face-to-face, so pwede na siya. Uh, counted siya as ministering. So, number four is the missionaries. So, back when I was a missionary in Baguio Mission, um, kung makitan ka sa imong kumpanyon, sa district leader or other co-missionaries na mag-call ka, mag-text ka, or even video call or chat with your family or whoever it is, um, dili siya pwede. Then, um, pwede ka interview sa mission president or pwede ka uh, aksyonan sa mission president because of doing that. Pero, pa- Prophet Nelson nag- nag-change. Sana siya nga. Um, this has been approved with Pro- uh, President Nelson na mga missionaries, pwede na sila video call. Uh, in every companionship, sa- murag na sila yung uh, smartphones para um, mahimo and applicable for this pandemic time. Uh, for this uh, totally lockdown na, na time. And there are lots of members that wonder, nga, nga naman, nga na ay, dagan kayo ang mga changes. And they ask questions. And those questions, na answers siya sa time sa pandemic. When the time nga na lockdown ta. And um, Prophet Nelson and uh, uh, the Bishop Rick, the, 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 the area, uh, send us new instructions that pwede ta mag-sacrament within our family. So, ma-exercise nato ang priesthood nato. And those members nga wala priesthood, they can join or even they can uh, video call with the member nga na uh, 
uh, naghimuan na, na pwede na, na pwede mahimong mas kaning accessible para sa ila ah. and pwede sila mo atin sa other family but um mga changes na um, nahimo ni prophet uh, president nelson is uh, there are there uh, this is a uh, preparatory day uh, one preparation because uh, the lord wants us to be saved uh, brothers and sisters and uh, when the pandemic comes na apply na to ni siya na apply na to ni ng mga challenges ng mga uh, mga mga changes. So, but the question is, um, did we obey? Did we obey those uh, changes na itong uh, na, na himo na himo ni President na um, dapat uh, we have to read the scripture, the Book of Mormon, and um, every night. So, every or every day yung yung gibutang dito. So, what is the purpose of that? Kung wala, wala di ay uh, hinungdan, di ba? And good thing, uh, we know some members, including us, na naay nag wala na kontento pa sa pag-study sa scripture. They are doing indexing and they are doing uh, genealogy, which is uh, a very good uh, idea uh, because of the totally lockdown time. So in the Bible, uh, kung remember na to si Moses. Um, Sa, sa Numbers, chapter 21. Uh, when Moses, uh, or when these Israelites um, started to uh, nagreklamo sila ba? Nagreklamo sa ginoo. Ibin kay Moses na, Moses, gidalami ni mo diri sa wilderness and then walay pagkaon, walay tubig. So, they try to murmur. And what happened is, tungod sa kasuko sa ginoo, para ma-realize nila ang ilang weaknesses, ang ilang sayo, then the Lord sent uh, serpents or mga snake, mga halas. And ang nahitabu is, gipampaak ang mga Israelites sa halas. And much people, dagkan kay nga mga tao ang namatay, na mga Israelites nga namatay. And tungod sa kahadlok nila nga namatay, they asked Moses for forgiveness na kung pwede uh, hangyo ang ginoo na uh, matagaan tao kung sa'yo tambal ani tungod kay that time wala pa anti venom wala pa tay mga antibiotic or mga tambal nga pwede ihatag na sa mga napaakalwalas so ang gihimo sa Ginoo is he, he instructed Moses o sige out of brush paghimo og usa ka dako kayo nga serpent o halas and <clears throat> ibutang siya sa sa kakahoy sa taas sa kaibat taas nga kahoy then tanan nga mo tan-aw dito uh, aning brush nga serpent is dili siya mamatay tanan nga napaakal, mutanaw lang agto, and hindi sila mamatay. But, um, to my surprise, daghan di gihapon ang namatay. Why? Because they didn't listen uh, the simple instructions na gihatag ni Moses sa mga Israelites. And that's applicable with us gihapon karon panic ta with the pandemic covid-19 pero uh, the instructions are already there the dapat na tong buhaton na ana day since december 30 pa lang gihimo na na prophet na so ng mga butang na makatabang na to pag abot sa pandemic and those virus viruses are uh, grabe ka kuyaw no so as we know sa um, covid-19 um naay duha ka klase nga maapektuhan sa sa virus and these are the kanang ma feel gid nila uh, maluya sila sa din death or uh, whatever na ma feel nila illness sickness tanan pero naay isa nga kuyaw this uh, this um, person or kining tao kaning mga asymptomatic subot so, pasabot walay gibati pero naa sa ilang virus and we should be careful to that, brothers and sisters. And kabalo ba mo? Or kabalo ba ta? That there are naapay duha ka virus na grabe kaayog yapon. That until now, wala pa siya tambal. Or wala pa siya um, vaccine for these two kinds of virus. And I would like to show you uh, these two kinds of virus. Um, this virus nag-start pa ni since Adam until sa ato ang panahon ka na. And this virus is ang ginatawag na GV1. 
virus. So, Gina goat, virus, uh, ZV1 virus. So, this is a virus. And the second virus is GMV2 virus. So, nadiskobrihan ako ni siyang virus. I mean, I, um, I, I ponder ba, uh, the time na nag-prepare ko sa akong book, na nakita na ako ni virus na daghan kaayo ang asymptomatic. Mm, daghan kaayo ang asymptomatic. And this two kind of virus, uh, makakos na siyang illness even uh, maka-inactive sa usa ka member or even death uh, can cause any uh, virus so mas grabe pa siya sa COVID-19 brothers and sisters so number one GV virus this is the gossip virus one so kaning gossip uh, since time of Adam nag nag expand na siya so daggang kaayo ang mga mga members, even family members, even members of the church, leaders, na naapektuhan ani, daghan kayo ang natapdan ani, or daghan kayo ang nawala sa si church because uh, sometimes um, atong ma, ma makita na sometimes uh, we are doing these things kaning gossip, uh, pagpanglibak, backbiting, uh, telling others uh, negative sa nga mga butang uh, which is that's a kuyaw kayo nga virus asymptomatic halos sa mga tao ani wala pay vaccine ana and number 2 virus is the GMV virus munim pinaka kuyaw judgmental virus 2 so muni siya ang uh, mind setting sa tao na kalabitang easy kaayo ta mo judge sa atong easy ka tao and there are a lots of members or even uh, covenanted people na ikon ani ang attitude and even sometimes kita ako so I'm not exempted and hopefully dili ta mahimong asymptomatic in this kind of virus uh, judgmental virus so kung sa itbulaga pa na ba bawal judgmental so uh, brothers and sisters um, there are lots of things na pwede na itong ma-replace ano yung mga viruses why not doing ministry uh, checking every uh, assigned members na itong pwede ma mapalo up kung kumusta sila kung kumusta ang ilang family not just face to face so there are changes sa ministry pwede na itong mag-text, mag-call or video call so, dili na natuhula ito na mag-face to face pata sa ila. So, we have to do or obey kung sa man ang mga simple instructions na gihatag sa ato para dili na mapaakan sa halas. Like sa time ni Moses sa mga Israelites. But, um, I know brothers and sisters na uh, kaninga mga kaninga virus, kaninga gossip virus or judgmental virus um, can cause some other members other people na including bisan kita sometimes um, illness, loneliness uh, self-pity or even death because of our judgment sa mga members na itong nakita itong nalumog, the way they dress the way they speak uh, the way they act so judge dayo na to. and because of our closeness sa church sometimes um, kanang eager kayo taba na solve sa mga problema sa ubang mga members and gusto na itong masolve, kita ang makasolve pero not knowing na uh, kita di ay naapot tayo personal or even family problems na dapat po na ito siyang isolve first and in conclusion I would like to address this to the fathers and uh, brethren, uh, this is the time that we can exercise our wisdom when the pandemic comes, the hadlog yun ko si ako ang naibuhato. Even I nailed down uh, to our Father in Heaven on sa mga pwede na ako buhato. And isa sa mga nakita na ako is to give blessing to my family one by one. And pwede na ako siya buhato, brethren. That is our calling. Uh, as a patriarch of the family, uh, we have to give blessings sa, sa matag-usa, sa mga members sa itong family. And brethren, um, give time to our family. Give time to your wife. Um, cook with your wife. Wash dishes with your kids. Play with your kids. 
um, una siya ang mga dili malintan sa itong mga anak someday. Kwarta, cellphones, whatever, uh, material things, malintan na. Pero ang memories na itong nahimo in times of pandemic, uh, with our kids, with our family, dili na nila malintan. And please, please, brethren, stop kalikuting your cell phones, laptops, or whatever games. Give time to your family. Although they are important, gadgets important, pero our family memories are more important than that. And to the sisters, uh, I would like to say that we love you, sisters. And dili na mo ni mahimo as father, as a priesthood holder, ang mga butang uh, uh, dapat na to i-obey kung wala mo, sisters. You are a very big help to our to our, to ourselves, to our family. And please, sisters, medyo taas-taasan pagin na ito ang ito ang mga patience. Because we're not perfect kaya po. Masayop kaya po me. And in spite of our weaknesses, we know ang mga makatawag na para may mga strength ang mga mga weaknesses. And you're part of that na pwede na ito buha ito. And I'm so happy na there are lots of members hindi sa itong tanan na nakasurvive, nag-obey, uh, naningkamot, and especially the bishopric, the, the auxiliary leaders, the elders quorum presidency, the relief society presidency, or even members naningkamot. Uh, kung ang government na sila ay um, frontliners, uh, we have also our frontliners there is a church. And that's the bishopric, the auxiliary leaders. And they are the very big help. And I am a living witness with that na naningkamot sila in spite sa kakuyaw, kalisod uh, naningkamot sila uh, na uh, matang member uh, mahimong uh, safety and dili kaayo magpanik and I know na as we obey the, the instructions of our prophet uh, uh, the instructions of the bishopric uh, they stop gossip this kind of virus and stop judging others and I know that we can heal as one and I know that our church is true the gospel really helps us to we have to gain more wisdom in this life and I know that kaya natin ni brothers and sisters kung magtinabang ko lang sa please kumusta ko natin itong mga na-assign sa ato na-assign na-assign na natin na Uh, pwede mga ministry. Even dili na ito ka-assign. Basta mga kumusta na ito sila. Whatever, whatever uh, pwede na ito uh, ways na makita na itong uh, makatabang sa ito ang spirituality. Uh, dili ito mga church. Uh, we're not perfect. So, I know Heavenly Father loves us. He prepares a way para malabanan na ito ng pandemic. I know these things to be true. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Salamat kayo sa itong mga inspired speakers. And doon na tayo uh, intermediate team. And we will hear from our from the Tabernacle Choir. And after uh, hearing from the Tabernacle Choir, uh, our concluding speaker is our first uh, second counselor of the bishopric, Brother Edwin Carl Vicariato. And after his concluding talk, We will close this by singing Sing We Now at Party. And we invited Sister Analeia Stokia to give us the benediction.
in the sixth day of the creation, God created every beast of the earth and every fowl of the air. And isa sa mga fowl nga iyan na create is ang eagle. And kabuluta nga ang eagle. Lagang siya mga life lessons nga itulo sa tua. Eagles are one of the most aged birds in the planet. Sila ang pinakadugay mamatay. All among the, the birds, sila yun ang pinakadugay mo survive. And most of the eagles survive until nearly 40 years. And if that time comes, nahapit na sila mag-40, they began to feel changes sa ilahang mga lawas. So, we all know nga ilahang pinaka-primary weapons to hunt is ilahang mga peaks and ilahang mga talons. Mga pangtuka nila o ilahang mga tagas nga kuko. Um, when they are nearly 40s, um, peaks become bent. So, hinahinay na o kapiko ang ilahang mga tuka. Then, ilahang mga talons will be unsharpened or dull. So, mahimo na siyang habol, dili na siya hait. Ilahang mga pako, tungkol sa ilahang mga baga nga feathers, become stuck on their chests and would hard for them to fly. So, muna ginasuffer sa mga eagles if mo reach sila sa um, nearly 40. And, naku yung trivia nga nabasa nung nga dito. Eagles may live another 30 years after surviving 40 years of their life. So, if they feel changes or weak na ilang mga kaugalingon, um, nasa yung ka choices. It's either to die or to survive. And they have to go through a process if they want to, sur- to survive and extend their lives for another 30 years. So, kanis yung process, um, ilang himuun ani is they have to stay at the top of the mountain and sit on their nest. Maglingkod sila dito and they will start to knock the rocks using their peaks, beaks. Um, ilan ang ituktok, ilan mga tuka sa bato para matangtang. And also, they will scratch their talons hantod mga tangtang ilang mga kuko. And they will wait until mo grow ang, ang ilang mga tuka o ilang mga kuko. Imagine on saan siya kadugay no. And kung mutubo na ilang mga tuka o ilang mga kuko, they will start to um, pick their feathers one at a time. So, ibto na nila ilang mga balahibo. And for sure, they will suffer a lot of fatigue and much hunger. Okay, dili naman sila ka-hunt. Then, this process will last um, 150 days of suffering before having again their renewed body. After 150 days, they would feel young with much strength and seems like was born again. So, inga na ang, inga na ang eagle. No? So, in life, we have to suffer much afflictions just to have a better good. Sahay, we have to give up things that gives us temporary happiness for an eternal joy. Um, because as what Elder Jeffrey R. Holland said, quote, salvation is not a cheap experience, end quote we have to pay the price. Uh, so Matthew, so book of Matthew, chapter 26, um, gusto na ko i-quote ang words mismo ni Jesus Christ kato nag-pray sa, sa, sa Gethsemane. Ingon sa verse 39, And he went a little farther and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh my Father, if be, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as Thou wilt. Then, sa so verse 42, giingon niya, giingon dili, 
he went away again the second time and prayed, saying, O my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. So, if na ay bitter cup sa to ang kinabuhi, dapat yun natin siya dawaton. Ang um, trials, ang kanang mga kalisod, mura na siya anino nato di na gina siya mawala. Si Jesus Christ, gidawat niya and nagdepend siya sa will ni Heavenly Father. Wala siya nagbuot. Wala siya nangutan ng ano na nung kailangan niya isuffer. Gidawat niya. And for sure, he drink his bitter cup. He suffered so much pain, more than we can imagine. Even until death. As a result, natin chance nga mag-forgive sa itong mga sala. Natin chance nga mas- ma-resurrect. Natin chance nga makabalik sa presence sa itong Heavenly Father. Kauban sa itong family. Forever until eternity. So, all we have to do now is to drink our bitter cup. Um, we have to endure all the afflictions. If makasala ta, hindi mo na siya okay. Pero magrepenta and magpray sincerely as Enos did wrestle with the Lord. As Nephi said, prayed with the full energy of his heart. And we must repent as the anti-Nephi Lehi buried their wrong, um, I mean, buried their weapons which represents their sins, I believe to the ground and covenanted not to use it again and would not participate to any war. So, kabulo ko nung uh, na ang kalibutan puno din kayo pagsulay. And as a member of the church, we welcome them. We are grateful for them. Muna siya ang mutabang sa tua para kung igol pa survive pa tawag another 30 years I know that these things are true I know that Heavenly Father loves us more than we know how much He loves us in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen
Father, uh, mapasalamatan kami karong adlaw sa Domingo ng Gihatang ng Masama. Kami gihapon mapasalamatan sa mga blessings ng Gihatang ng Masama sa mga tansatansang pamilya. Salamat sa tanan sa imo pagtabang sa moa sa mga makapurvide ni ng among mga needs sa among pamilya. Salamat sa challenges ng karon nga among ginaface na nagtabang sa amo ang maging maipainom sa inyong diha kanino o mga ayaw kanunay ng giya o comfort gikan sa inyong ha. Salamat sa among mga leaders na padayon sila ng gagiya sa amo ang labi na sa karong panahon ang mga namo sa langit mga ayaw kami kanino na i-bless ang matagosakan na mo nga ang mga mensahe na among nadawatan karong adlawa may botang namo sa among mga huna-huna o kasing-kasing o may apply ni namo siya sa among ang kinabuhi mga ayaw kami na continuous na guidance, comfort, mga blessings ang imong ihatag sa amo ah, uh, uh, matag-adlaw sa among kinabuhi ay uh, padayon mi na ay hugot nga pagtuo kanimo o uh, magpadayon kami na uh, magpa-ilimasulun dun sa tanan ni mong mga kasuguanan mga yung gapon kami na uh, panalangin ni kami o um, Um, labi na ka itong mga tao nga nag-servisyo lang sa kadaghanan tabangin sila rin ni Father na uh, ang ilang desire to serve others kanunay na sa ilang kasing-kasing kung magpadayon ka na sila hanggang sa uh, mahuman ka nila na pandemic nga among ginagian karon we love the heavenly father and we pray na may mo kami mga worthy na makareceive ng mga blessings na mong giandang para ka na kini among giyampo ipasalamatan da sa pangalan ni Jesus Christ Amen Heavenly Father I am grateful for you hearing my prayer I am learning to be patient and that you are really there. There are answers I'm receiving. No, they're not always immediate. Sometimes I have felt defeated. That's when I kneel down and pray